Jim has this incredible gift for big goals. When he gets his mind set on something, uh, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of other people getting to the point where they realize it's going to happen. The Environmental Defense Fund salutes Jim Rogers for his leadership on Envision Charlotte. It's one of the most forward-thinking urban sustainability projects on the East Coast and sure to be a model for other cities to follow. Really to be the example for energy uh, conservation and transforming the whole industry and still creating job growth in the area. Jim really has become known uh, internationally in his involvement in energy policy, energy development, and, and really trying to help spur the creation of, of Charlotte's Energy Hub. And I think it's a terrific thing for our city. You know, when you think about Charlotte, I think four or five years ago, no one would have said it's an energy capital. I think there's a couple of dimensions of what Jim has done. One is actually working to bring companies here to Charlotte. Since 2007, we've added 5,000 jobs in that sector alone, and I see nothing but growth in that sector. Whether it's Siemens, whether it's Shaw, whether it's Riva, or others, collectively, that work that, that we can all do to make sure that Charlotte is and becomes a great energy leader for our country. If anyone has been more strident about making this convention effort about the city of Charlotte, it's been Jim Rogers. If you think about all the communities that are lining up trying to get jobs and attract the attention of companies and talented people, he's put Charlotte at the front of the line. A lot of my colleagues in the environmental community didn't know what to make of Jim at first. I think Jim really enjoyed that. One of his talents and one of his strengths is that he realizes that sometimes in order to, uh, to, to fully engage on an issue, you have to engage with people who may start out disagreeing with you. But as we worked together, I began to understand that he was committed to doing the right thing for the climate. He was always convinced that he could find the right balance. But what he really focuses on is getting a, a low carbon future. He's able to articulate it, he's able to lead by example, and to truly make a difference. Education really is one of those passports to opportunity. He knows that, he invests in that. His efforts to promote uh, the arts and culture in our city is part of that. Doing what he can to inspire ideas, ambitions, innovations that will create a very different and exciting future for our country. One of the favorite metaphors that Jim uses is the, uh, is the grandfather test, uh, which is this idea that the decisions we make today are only good decisions if your grandchildren many years ahead of us will see those decisions as good. I think Jim has certainly solidified his role uh, in the future as being remembered as a true energy leader for this community. Great execution, great leadership, and he establishes the true spirit of partnership. How do we win together? The truth is the environmental community can never achieve the progress we need to without strong allies in the business community. And Jim Rogers has a powerful voice. The only wealth that really lasts is what you give away. That's his gift. The visionary, the sense of the possible, and the energy and the excitement to pursue it.